a scene of a rural exodus. Like many other villages in Serbia, Binici is slowly turning into a ghost town. Look, no one lives in these four houses. What happened? The elderly died and the young ones left for the towns. Some went to Kaljeva, others to Raska. It's a trend that has repercussions throughout society. The school here shut down because there weren't enough children. And Father Zdravko now leads congregations in nine villages. In the past two years, I officiated over a hundred funerals, about ten baptisms, and only five or six marriages. It shows the speed at which this region is dying out. Across the former Yugoslavia, nearly one-third of people abandoned the countryside in the second half of the 20th century and headed to the city. Experts estimate that about 50 villages disappear in Serbia every year. There is no strategy to relaunch development of these regions, or at least to maintain it at the same level, the same level as last year, for example. At 43 years old, Ranko is the youngest person in Benici, even though he works in a nearby town. This village might not be the most beautiful, but I like it. I was born here, and I will stay here. Ranko is the last flicker of hope for this village perched on Galicia, and for now he remains faithful to the land of his ancestors. He would have liked to marry, but the women he has met yearn for city life. So with no children, once he too is gone, Benici will most likely fade away, just like 700 other villages that are expected to disappear in the next 15 years.